Hi friends, welcome back to a new video. In this particular video, I will be discussing about a few tips which you can keep in mind whenever you are attending ISRO or ICRB interview for the post of Scientist SC. So, before we begin, just a few things. ISRO is India's space agency, so there is a lot of opportunities in the organization, so this is a good choice for an enthusiastic young engineer. Now, in this particular video, the guidelines will be given in such a way that they are common to all disciplines. So, doesn't matter whether you are from electronic stream or whether you are from mechanical engineering background, it doesn't matter. In this first video, I will be discussing about only those guidelines which will be useful for all the disciplines or which will be useful irrespective of the background that you come from now going ahead to the details without wasting much time the general instructions are listed out here the first you have to be strong in your basics because ISRO is a core engineering company. So, doesn't matter how uncool it sounds, you have to be strong in your basic engineering subjects. Leave apart the engineering part of it, you should be very strong with your physics, with your understanding of the concepts. Because they will be looking at all these things. You should be knowing the basics, that's what I mean the basic physical concept all those things going to the next point you have to be confident there is no substitute for confidence because the moment you enter the interview room your body language everything counts because unknowingly that sends a message to them so if you seem to be worried the message that you are sending out is that even i'm not confident or even I'm not sure whether um, I'll be selected or I will get selected or not. So be very positive in your body language. Show the confidence on your face. Have a smiling face. The next point is be honest. I'm, what I mean by this is in case if you get a question for which you don't know the answer, be brave and be honest and tell them, Sir, I don't know the answer for this particular question. There is nothing wrong in that. Rather than, rather than just beating around the bush. So don't waste time without any hesitation. Tell them that, Sir, I don't know the answer for this particular question. You don't have to, be, you don't have to get worried for that. Because that happens. That's a, mm, nobody knows everything in this world. So it's pretty much okay to say, I don't know. Then I will talk in a while about the infrastructure that you will be provided inside an interview hall or an interview room. So there will be a board. So whenever you get questions in which you the explanation requires some figures or drawings, then I urge you without any ado go ahead and use the board for illustrations you will be provided with pens so pictures speak a thousand words so it is highly recommended to use the board very judiciously and very nicely also it will definitely augment your chances of getting through the interview then Moving to the next point, there are certain questions that will be asked with a probability of 0.8. That means 80% of the time this question will be asked. A particular question which falls to the above category is the question regarding your undergraduate project. So always have 4 to 5 sentences ready made with you. 
in which you can describe your project in a very systematic way what was the problem statement what methodology you adopted how did you solve the problem and what are the results you got and what are the future directions in your work this is very important so when they ask you about your undergraduate proje project have a brief answer which will touch upon all of these things the answer should be systematic and it should not be too long it should be two to three minutes at max so this will also enhance um, your confidence moreover the people who are sitting in front of you will feel like okay you you know the work what you have done which is essentially what is required when you get into a role because you should know your job better than anyone and you should be able to tell your superior or your boss that what the work you have done what results you got and what are the future directions that you are going to take so this is a very important question so if you prepare for this particular question it really augments your chances now the next point i want to discuss about is the infrastructure that you will be provided inside an interview hall so in ISRO interview you will be facing 10 to 11 interviewees so the number will vary it is not a fixed number but there will be a lot of people in the hall or in the room the first point to be noted is that don't get worried they all are they all are subject matter are experts from different domain from different ISRO centers all across the country they are there to ask you questions that doesn't mean you should be knowing all your subjects I advise you to prepare for two to three core subjects so if they ask you what is your favorite subject tell them these subjects so your preparation before one month or uh, 30 20 days should be totally revolving around those two to three core subjects which you are planning to tell them as your favorite subjects so they will ask you a few questions on that then they will ask you very basic questions from other subjects which you didn't say so if you have a very basic understanding of other subjects it will again augment your chances of getting through this interview now talking about the infrastructure there will be people, uh, there will, these are all subject matter experts you will be here you will, there will be a board behind you you will be provided with all stationaries like pens chalks whatever as i mentioned before you don't have to get worried moreover use this board very judicially to explain the concepts in a much better way and i keep telling you this picture a picture speaks thousand words so they will it will definitely help you to convey your concept to the people who are sitting in front of you so that's it all the best for your interview